You've got your resin print done, but what are you going to do after it's in there? Because it's still got resin goo and stuff on there and all that fun, icky stuff. Well, join me today as we take a look at the Illigoo Mercury X Bundle. So join me inside as we get these guys unpacked and take a look. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said, we are taking a look at the Illigoo Mercury X bundle. So this is a little bit different. Now, if you guys saw my video on the Anycubic Wash and Cure Station, it is one unit that has the tank you take it in and out and you can wash or cure. It has both settings. The Mercury X bundle is two separate machines, a curing and a wash. So this is a little bit separate, but there's some concepts I want to talk about with this because what I've noticed of using an all-in-one cleaning cure station is it takes up the space of two, in all honesty, because that the alcohol tank, you got to take it out and set it somewhere while you're curing, so it actually does take up a lot of space in the long run. So with this, what we're going to look at today is, is it more space consuming and just is it more of a pain? Because honestly, a lot of times I kind of hate taking the, the alcohol tank out, putting it back in, because I'm printing a lot constantly. And that can get kind of annoying too. So I'm really kind of curious to take a look at this bundle and see if it actually fits better for my environment in addition to the Anycure, uh, Anycubic Wash and Cure Plus. Because the Plus it is a bigger wash and cure station. And for the Photon Mono X or the Saturn S, I need that big station because I got big models. Where a standard station just, it didn't get, I had to flip the model over halfway through the wash to get everything clean. So we're gonna get this guy out of the box. We're gonna take a look at its components and then we're gonna move on through and take a look. And then later on, we'll do a second video where I'm comparing these to other washing stations. But this one's get out of the box and let's take a look at the features. So before we do that, if you're new here and you want to see more interesting 3D print comment, content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We got lots of videos out there about 3D printing. And, you know, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Help us out. That gets us out there and gets us more propagation to YouTube and all that fun stuff. And also, if you have a question in regard to 3D printing, modeling, any of that kind of stuff, comments. More questions means more video ideas means more info for you. So, definitely a great thing. So let's get this guy out of the box. All right. All right, so we got the box opened up. And one thing I'm gonna say about Ilgu is compared to a lot of, a lot of manufacturers pack their stuff really well. Ilgu goes above and beyond. They pack it with a lot of good material. Now like these sheets like this, hold on to those if you're wanting to make dioramas and stuff. These can be great terrain issues for uh, kit bashing and dioraming. So hold on to that fun stuff. So the all important instruction manual. And now I am gonna set this guy down here so I can actually get to these ba to, to this base. Ugh. All right, so that's the box is empty. Everything's up here. So there is our alcohol tank. It's always fun doing this because if it was just me and not on video, I wouldn't be playing that around, but it's a lot of fun. And we'll get that saran wrap off a nice, good color. Uh, the yellow is going to go well with the Anycubic colors. Now, this is the curing base. Very simple, very clean, very elegant. And we got the towers we got to plug in here once we get those. So that's the curing station base of it. So those will go together. Now, again, these are more your standard size. These are not really, can I put stuff from the Saturn S in here? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. But um, I may need the bigger station for doing that. Looks like the rest of the stuff is all in the uh, alcohol tank here. So let's get in there. Yep. So here's the other base, tools and all that fun stuff. Lost some of the screws. So handy dandy screw kit there. Let's get this guy out of his packaging. Now definitely a size difference because basically the tank 
magnetically locks onto the base, which is good. There's our LED arms that we got to put in the other one. And the all important, there's one power. One power, oh, so this is kind of interesting. One power cord to rule them both. I don't know if I like this. I think this is a may, I mean, if you're definitely gonna have them side by side, this is nice, but I think I would have preferred a separate power cord. That way, if I wanna have the carrying machine in a different room, I could have, but now I can't. The two have to stay together. Let's get the last piece out of here. So, one thing I've noticed on these two is smaller prints. The gaps are huge. Now the bottom, those are definitely nice and tighter gaps, but on these sides, it lets the piece, if the piece is really small, it can get out. But what I use to do that, to stop that problem, is I use a tea infuser. And I put it in the tea infuser and then I'll just throw it in here because the tea infuser can't get out of the cage. So, neat trick there. Link to a description down below of those tea infusers. Now, taking a look at this, my first impression is the wheel in the bottom. It's plastic. I think that's a little bit of a miss there. That probably should have been metal. But we'll give it a try and see how it goes. And I'm curious to see how that fan design in there uh, actually moves the, moves the chemicals. So 700 milliliters is the recommended top fill, which actually is actually pretty good. Um, it, it's a very good uh, amount. I love that the cage has good rails so it sits in there and that this is separate. I'm not having to hook it anywhere. That is definitely good. Then I'll have to figure out what that's for. So, all in all, size-wise, they're very good. They're not overly big, they're not overly wide, doesn't take up a lot of room, can easily set a printer, a big printer right here next to it, and it's not taking up a whole big shelf. This is 36 inches, and I could easily sit a Photon Mono X or a Saturn right next to these. So that's really awesome. Uh, compactness, especially in a shop like mine where I don't have a ton of room, and I have a lot of printers in there, uh, space can be at a premium for me. So this is actually a really good design. Um, and the type, I, I, like the, I like the look of this a lot. This is actually really impressing me, the size and scope, but also the fact that I can be washing and curing at the same time is very important to me. And the fact that these have digital displays is really a, a nice looking feature. So definitely a lot of good benefits here um, and a lot of good looks. I'm not sure I'm sold on the white. I doubt they will stay white in my shop very long because uh, I tend to print with gray. But I'm gonna plug in the wash station right now because I wanna take a look at the display. There we go, oh, push and hold, ha <laughs> ha. I love that the timer is in there, is a digital timer and I can up the time past six or seven minutes, which is a really good thing. Um, Cause especially in the curing process, I found bigger models, I need to cure more time. Um, and some of the wash and cure stations, the older ones, uh, there's a six minute limit. It's like, no, I need more than that. Um, especially just time wise, depending on what I'm washing or if I'm washing a whole bunch and I want it to run for a little while. Um, so that is a really great, I love the display and that it's a push to start. So, And it's not horribly loud. So, yeah, I like that. But let's get the let's get the curing station put together here. So essentially, there's two cables I've got to plug in. So I will get them plugged in. And we'll get these twist eyes off. Get out of there. And we'll set that up right so we get our curing lights. The only thing that's a little bit different that I do like about the Anycubic Wash and Cure Plus is that those, I can actually bend the tower over and I feel like there should be a reflective surface but what they did here instead is they actually put lights under the turntable which is a really nice, nice touch I think. 
because um, you're getting the LED light from underneath as it spins around versus uh, reflection and hoping it cures. So that is a really nice design. I will bolt those in off camera. There's just a few little Allen wrench screws that hold those in place. Actually, I'll do that, but I'm gonna pause while I do that. You guys don't wanna watch me put in like eight screws. So catch you back in a second. All right, so we have the carrying station put together and we'll press and hold the power on. And it'll give us a nice little chime and show some lights. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of time on there and away we go. And ooh, that's a beautiful bright light. So, and this one, like I said, it does a little bit different than the AnyCubic does. The AnyCubic has, you can bend the arm down or straight up, then it uses a reflective mirror kind of basically to push light up underneath. This one right here on this side, as the table turns, it goes over an actual light. And you can see the color bouncing around very nicely in there. So and it's actually for a turntable and stuff, it's very quiet, very impressed. Um, I like these. Um, they come in around, they come in around 179 to 199 for the set. But when you look at the any cure, any other stations they are around a 100 to 150, but like I said, separate stations, which can actually keep you going in a good workflow where the other all in ones you have to, put the tank on, clean, take them out, take the tank off, then put them on, let them cure. So you actually get stuck in a process where this can be a little bit more of a continuous flow. So definitely a great looking machine. Love the look of it. Love to get back there and get a bit of shot and give it a try out. The one thing I will say, this is more for your standard model size. Um, if you're doing anything with like a Mono X or a Saturn S or something that's really big, uh, you might have a hard time with a fit in here. So. Um, kind of keep that in mind. If you're working with the larger printers, this set might not be for you, but there are definitely other sets out there to take a look at. So again, this was the uh, Illigoo Mercury X bundle. Um, can't wait to put them back in my shop. And again, we'll do a comparison review of these later on in comparison to other ones, but I wanted to get these out of the box and show these off because I actually really like these. Um, the basket looks nice. You've got the bracket in there so that we can put in there and hold stuff. And all in all, it's just a gorgeous looking simple machine. And that's the key piece with this, it's simple, which is really nice. And we don't have a bunch of up, down, up, down, up, down, risk spilling your alcohol and all that kind of stuff um, when you're taking the tank off. It's meant to stay there. So awesome little set. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you were new here and you did enjoy this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, help us out. And if you've got any questions about it at all, comments down below, let me know. So thank you guys. I hope to see you in the next video. And with that, we're out.